Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. From Charlottesville, Virginia, we're ready for some college football here at Mr. Jefferson's University. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. And with that, we kick off our season. Prater fields it at the two. Brought down at the 26-yard line. The Cougars have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers, going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. The halfback picks up a yard. Gray to punt. They'll certainly need better production from this offense as the game goes on. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. He's at the 40, inside the 30, the 10, and a huge touchdown play. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. and the referee agreed. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. And he's taken down at the 46. Ray gains about two yards on the run. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Looking for the corner. Knocked out of bounds around the 47-yard line. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. From the 43 yard line, second down. Now bring him down around the 28 yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Field. 
Second and ten. Ball on the 28-yard line. There's a fumble. Scooped up by the offense. They nearly gave that ball away. But luckily, that guy was paying attention to what was going on and was able to recover the football. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Receiver touchdown. And they had a tough time defending that one. But Brad, one of the things with this defense is you leave yourself vulnerable one-on-one -on -one coverage. Great throw by the quarterback and great speed by the receiver. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 60-yard drive. They put up seven points. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Green has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. Parker has it at the five. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 34-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He wants it all. Oh, so close to breaking it. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. And they get nice yardage on that one. That brings him second and five. about four yards on the play. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Back to the running back, and he gets nowhere. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Passes to the back, incomplete. There's a missed opportunity by the offense. Great play there by the D. It's early in the season, but they showed they don't get rattled at all. I give them a lot of credit. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Virginia is up by a touchdown. Would have been a big play by the defense. He can't hold it. Jacobson is the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 23-yard line. Second down. And he's tackled around the 24-yard line. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, Virginia. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Line. 
First down. handoff this time the defense saw it coming and got to him for a loss so we're looking at another third down here Virginia is up a score he wants it all going long can't connect Mitchell was the intended receiver on that pass so the stop there on third and long and that's going to bring up a punting situation the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt he drops it he makes it to the 32 yard line flag on the play let's see what it is receiving team That's a tough play. Whether you lose the ball or not, it can mess with your head when that happens. From their own 32-yard line, first down. Now he tries to buy some time, and they make the stop at the 37. the run he's at midfield brought down at the 44 yard line from the 44 yard line it's first down left finding his tailback tackle made around the 42 yard line relies so much on timing and as you saw there when their timing gets knocked off they have a tough time connecting on plays like this third down now they need to get it down to the 34. quick throw out to the receiver incomplete let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Virginia up seven points. Got a man. Watch out here. And they push him out at the 40-yard line. and 10. Ball on the 40-yard line. He's tackled around the 48-yard line. Virginia's going to take their first time out of the half. to the 37. From 
the 37 yard line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw out to the receiver. And he shoved out of bounds at the 29. as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 17-yard line, first down. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Virginia is up seven. Got the corner. Touchdown, Cavs. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to take a look at the nation's elite in the top five. The Crimson Tide strike through the air, getting into the end zone for a touchdown. The Crimson Tide on top, 7-0. 14-0 in this one, Reese. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. The Cougars have got to find a way now to get the football in this guy's hands. And I think about basketball players and a jump shooter. If you can't get him the, the ball, get him to the free-throw line and get him one free one from 15 feet. Hurt. I agree with you 100%. And this is one of those games where the defense has just been suffocated. They've taken this wide receiver out of the game. Uh, this offense has not been able to come up with some answers. I would continue to fight as an offense coordinator and a play caller to find different ways to get this receiver a touch. And all it takes, Brad, as you said, is just one play to maybe create that spark and get this confidence established for this offense. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Gets it. He's in space. Very good tackle in space. Makes the catch and look out. And he tackles him hard at the 49-yard line. Well, on third down, we expected them to go to the air, and they did just that, picking up the first down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. So they go to the air and pick up six. Well, he really didn't have to do too much there to give himself a little room to make the catch. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. He made a real nice play on that one. I'll tell you what, in today's game, you have to have the ability to run the football. Give the quarterback a lot of credit. He made a great play and really gave his team a boost. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. He's going to try and scramble. And he's going to come up with a sack. football. The Cavaliers lead 14-0. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. 
David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Both of these defenses are opportunistic and very good at forcing turnovers. But both quarterbacks, David, have done a very good job on trying to maintain an aggressive mindset. They haven't forced the ball. The runners have done a good job keeping it put away. Yeah, and as much as you preach that all throughout the week, it's still hard to do. It's hard to execute. And being able to see what you see on the defensive side of the football and adjust to it offensively, how about protecting the quarterback so he's not getting hit from the blind side, fumbling the football, ball carriers running with the football, keeping it tight to their body, not giving it away. So, you know, between running backs, receivers, and quarterbacks, offensive linemen blocking, did a great job executing on the offensive side of the football, not to, create, not to give away any turnovers. I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. Anderson fields it at the two. He makes it to the 25-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Got his man. Can't tack on any yardage. That makes it second and six. From their own 29-yard line, second down. Three down, three down. Mark 22, Mark 22. Down. Down. They'll bring him down at the 38. Second and ten. Ball on the 38-yard line. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. That'll bring up third and eight. goes downtown. That's a great tackle at the 14. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. So a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they put up seven points. So our score, 21-0. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. At the 30. Tackle made at the 36. Virginia's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. 
But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Got a man open, and he can't pull it in. From their own 36-yard line, it's second down. Gets it out to about the 47-yard line. First down. They come out in an empty backfield. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. He lost the ball. Scooped up by the defense. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover bar. They need to hold on to the football. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. Here's a receiver screen. Falls incomplete. Mitchell intended to see on the play. That makes it second. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 38. Start and they certainly got him for it. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here. And the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 45. Rolls, and that one's going to hit the ground incomplete. for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up. Third down and they need to get it down to the 35. Tosses out to the tailback on the screen. Tackle right around the 34. on that reception from the 30 yard line second down Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 21 yard line. Goes left and tackled in a hurry. Here's 
It's the 11th play of the drive. A little toss across the middle. And they make the stop around the 14-yard line. Anderson brings him down at the 14-yard line. Fourth down. It's fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. Let's go. Let's go. We head to the fourth. 21 to nothing, Virginia. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Kicks away, and he got it. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Cowboys arrive at today's game ranked 16th in the nation, and for Oklahoma State, they look to start their season off on the right foot. And for Robert, he's got a touchdown pass in this one. The Cowboys are out front, 7-0, middle of the first quarter. 24-0, our score. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoffs. Prater from the 8. He's out to the 30, brought down at the 36-yard line. Virginia's defense has just been awesome here in the fourth quarter. And the thing that's really stood out to me, Brad, is that when they've needed the stops, they've gotten it and gotten the football back to their own offense to put points on. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. That makes it second and eight. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. Caught with room to work. He goes out of bounds at the 47-yard line. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. He's going to go for the home run. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. The wide out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful. So the offense is going to go for two. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's on the run. He's got the two. Jones has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. And he'll return this one from the center. He's tackled at the 37. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's tackled around the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. They hand it off again. Makes it to the 41. That brings up second and one. Level at the 40 yard line. Gain of one on the play. That'll bring up third and inches. It's third down, and they're about the length of the football away from the first down marker. Tackle made around the 
39 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 39 yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Drop down at the 29 yard line. This guy just made those 10 yards look easy. The Cougars taking their first time out of the half. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Cavs. He's been a force getting to pay dirt three times. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. And he converts the extra point. Time for an update from the studio. Reese, what have you got? Time to take a look at the nation's elite and the top five. This is a game we've been watching closely today. The Bulldogs hammer that running game and score a touchdown. The Crimson Tide on top, 21-10. In other action, the Cowboys come into today's game ranked 16th in the nation. Let's take yet another peek at this game. We've got a tight one going on here. And for Roberts, he has one touchdown pass. Oklahoma State leads it 7-3, late in the first quarter. All right, thanks, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 25. The offense ready for the first play of this drive. They moved the ball extremely well on their last possession on their way to the end zone. So much of the passing game is about timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. And right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Just under two minutes in the game. He airs it out. Drops it. They'll spread the field with five wide. He might not be able to get the pass off. Gets it quickly to the tight end, but it's dropped. Anderson fields it at the 38, gets to about the 47-yard line. Virginia's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Here's the give. He's at the 40, and they push him out at the 32. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's at the 20, and he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Just over a minute left. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second and five. Nine yards to the goal line. Takes it up the middle 
for a nice run. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, Virginia 31, Brigham Young 8. And the BYU Cougars. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.